No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. I'm in here today with No Jumper veteran. I swear. Matt Ox. Everything. We On are, everything. We back. We back. Type. You remember that first one? You type. kept saying type? Type. Because you weren't allowed to swear back then. Type. You don't remember this? Type. Because you were saying type shit after right. everything. Right. And then... Tight. We went uh, to do the interview, and you just kept saying type, and people type. were so confused at home because <laughs> they didn't know that saying type shit is like a normal thing that you were saying at the time. Right. That was weird. Also, you have uh, like one dreadlock in your face. Like, what, what happened with that? How did I that don't happen? know, bro. Look at this one. Oh, this joint was crazy. Bro. You're really just doing your thing with the hair, huh? It's just happening. Oh wow. This is life. This is how cultural appropriation happens. Who's just steadily, you? the dreads just not up. Who is calling you? My brother not seen. I okay. can't pick it up though, cause we on the interview. We are on the interview. How I you give living? no jumper respect. I appreciate that, yeah. because we did your first interview. We went viral as hell when we, we started no out. Respects an illusion. Respects an illusion. Man, can you see it? Can you see respect? No, but you can't see like the air either, and you know it's there, right? But is it saying? <laughs> nah, I feel you. <laughs> but that's like a chemical. You feel like that's like, you know what I'm trying to say? Hmm, a chemical. No, when we did that first interview, I, I just remember it, it was really early in the morning. I had to get up really fucking early. It was like me, you, Chapo. You were maybe hey, Chapo, 12 years old. Oh, God. Were I you 12? Was... Might have been. I think I thought you were 12, but now when I look at it, I'm 13. like 13, maybe. And you were well, on I the... might have been 12, though. Right. How old are you right now? 15. And, and how do you feel? Like, do you feel like a 15-year-old? Do you feel like somebody who's been through a lot? Sometimes I feel like I'm a 1,000 years old. Sometimes I feel like I'm, like, 9 years old. Right. Sometimes I feel like, like, 20. <laughs> it's just on the mood. You feel? I don't know. Right. It's just it. Do you feel like blowing up at such a young age has had, like, a crazy effect on your brain? Because you were just sort of steadily evolving for those years, and all of a sudden, bam! It was just I was exposed crazy. to a lot. You feel me? Mm. But it's like nothing's like I couldn't I never took it serious. You feel like I wouldn't take those things serious because it was just happening. You feel me? Mm. Like it wasn't like like it wasn't mm. like I was in the streets or like I what like you know what I'm trying to say? I mean, if you are like 25 or 30 and you've been trying to be a rapper for 10 years and then you make it, you might Sort of be ready for it. Right. But if you're 13 and all of a sudden you're just like famous. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You just, it's, it's hard to have a perspective on it, right? Yeah, well, just, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Perspectives always change on everything. You feel me? It's just a matter of time. One of the things I thought was most interesting when we did that interview was that you were just about to get kicked out of private school. Because you were, what, holding a knife in one of the videos and you were like rapping with a girl shaking her ass right behind you mm -hmm. and the school was like, nah, we're not having that. Yeah, they called DHS on us. <laughs> did you get kicked out of that school? I ain't get, I might have. Or did I, you I just forget. leave? I think I just left, pretty sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. I just thought that was interesting because it was like a private school. They could kick you out just for dancing in the woods holding a knife with a girl behind you, right? I got it. <laughs> It ain't made no sense. Uh, yeah, I feel like in a way though, like your career kind of got like sabotaged in a way because of the fact that your Instagram got taken down so many times in the beginning. That felt like it yeah. that really kind of fucked up the, the, the track you were on. Definitely. I feel like now it's back, you feel me? Mm. Better than it was. Way better. But I feel like I don't know, bro. Everything meant to happen, you feel me? It's not no like Oh, I got hacked, you feel me? When I when it was happening, it was kind of like that, but I wasn't really stressing. Mm. Yeah. I hear that. So how do you feel about, like, you haven't put anything out in a while. Last project, 2018. Yeah. Where are you at musically? Like, have you been grinding, trying to yeah, get ready? Yeah, bro, I'm about to drop, drop an album, but billions of mixtapes, you feel me? That's all dropped. And then billions more albums after this one album. Okay. This one album about to be crazy. So we had a nice break, but you're, you're planning on this, floating the this streets This new again. album going to be like, I'm not even going to call it a genre because genres don't exist. You feel me? It's like, it's like, that's just something to separate. Like, like you feel, put it into a, a category. It's not really like, it's more just what it is. You so feel you me? feel like you've gone way outside of rap? 
Yeah. I mean, like, mix, mixing more. You feel me? But I don't just rap. I never just rapped. Mm. Because it feels like the game has changed a lot where it's all about melodies these days. I mean, yeah, it's definitely about melody. It's about everything, though. It's just about... It's about the vibe. It's about the words. It's about the way you play, the wordplay, and then it's about how you say it. Mm. Not just, like, how you flow with it, but more, like, the timing and everything. Did you feel like you... I don't, I don't were, pay attention. To were you a SoundCloud thing. rapper, or do you feel like you were sort of almost even before that? I get. What you mean? I don't know. I mean, when we think about SoundCloud rappers, your name doesn't normally come up with that. But right. I guess when you think about it, it does. You you yeah. sort of fit into that. Yeah, I guess I was like YouTube, SoundCloud. You feel me? Like it was more YouTube. That's probably why. Mm. Yeah. That's true. Um. Okay. But so, th- all that shit happens. You start blowing up. When does it start to feel to you like? Like, did you have a lot of complications in your career, like, in terms of things just not going the right way and stuff? And you, you had a lot of label issues, I believe. Yeah. I mean, the first drone I signed, the owner of the whole label, like, quit. And I was just like... What label was that? That was Warner. Oh, okay. So, what What did Pump do? He ran a- Pump, yeah. He, he said he didn't... He couldn't have legally signed the contract because he was too young or something, right. and he got out of it. You, I got out of mine too. Like the same that. thing. They didn't have your mom co-sign on that. It was something. What happened, ma? How did we get out of that? Shout out to your lovely mother. Back for another interview. It just happened. It just happened. <laughs> <laughs> so you got out of that deal how long ago? Like that was like the beginning, like like before I dropped my album. Okay. Yeah. So I ain't dropped nothing. Okay. And I just. That was actually when I was like, kind of like, fell off. I guess you could say. When do you feel like you fell off? It's like deposits and like athlete songs you never heard. Probably. Okay. Jones, that just wasn't. And then I dropped the album, but that went crazy. You feel me? The album went but, crazy. And the singles before it, and uh, and then I dropped the X song too. Uh huh. And all that. Yeah, that was a fucking crazy moment. Was when the X song came out. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about how that came about. That just, I was FaceTiming him. I'm pretty sure we talked about this, fool. Did we? No, we haven't done another. In- oh, yeah, we did do another interview. Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. I remember that one. Now, we, oh, this is the third interview. Yeah, it's like the fourth. Yeah, Feels bro. like I should have known that. <laughs> yeah, that's fried. why I said I wasn't 12. I was 14. Oh, okay. But what was we talking about? Um, The X song, how that came about. So, like. Obviously, I've completely forgotten, so I'm assuming the audience will, too. So, the X song. I FaceTime, well, he texted me on Instagram, you feel me? And I've been rocking with X since I was, like, younger, you feel me? That was, like, one of my favorite artists, I right. say. Just, like, underground. He would have exposed me to the underground when I started rapping, and I wasn't popping. And so I was like, damn, that's lit. So I FaceTimed him, and we was just talking. And I played him the one song, The Hook, mm. and he was like, he, he was like, yo, send that to me. That's going crazy. And I sent it to him. And he texted me like a week later. He like, yo, my peoples think this joint a hit, bro. I think it's a hit too, bro. Like, I'm going to put you on an album. I was like, bet. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy because you were self-described. Like, you felt like you had kind of fallen off at that point, but he didn't give a shit. I mean, yeah. I didn't see it like that when I was there, but now I see it like that. But it's just all perspective. I ne- that's why I said fell off. Mm. It's just a perspective. Like, it don't really mean nothing. Well, that's the weird thing about being in the position that you're in is that you could literally put out one hot song, it's popping, and then maybe it takes you a year to find another song that could do good. But in the in-between time, everybody just acts like your career is so fucked up because you don't, like, consistently keep 6 9 dropping hits over and over. Like, if you have any sort of time away from that... People are so fast. I remember people started saying, like, oh, Blueface fell off, like, a month after Blueface came out. I'm like, we don't have enough information to know if Blueface fell off. You got to stop. Right. Yeah. That's how, yeah, yeah. That's what I say. It's just perspective. It's not, like, a fact. Mm. It's crazy, too, because X was the definition of somebody who would 
want to do a song with somebody and like have it all like on his album or whatever mm. and then just change his mind like a week later yeah. because his first project it says like the track list came out like the actual art and it says featuring adam 22 in the first song and then i don't know what that song sounds like because <laughs> i never heard it probably like you call him or something. it was that week that week he wanted me to be on the intro for his album and then like two weeks later it was just like oh no i'm doing a whole new album none of those songs are on this album <laughs> you know damn crazy um but okay so you, what have you been up to like for the most part what's your lifestyle like out there in philly you still in philly yeah i'm still in philly how's that going i'm good bro i'm just you know flowing just i've been in the studio with my engineer and he a producer too so we just been cooking 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 right just trying to get some some heat you got any songs you're excited about right now yeah a lot it's just just a bunch of songs but I'm just like, damn, because I got to choose only a couple, you feel Because I don't want to make the album too long. I want to make it a short, sweet, mm. you feel me? Like two-minute songs at most, you feel me? Like one, two minutes, mm -hmm. you feel me? Yeah. Just have it like 14 songs. 14? Something like that, yeah. That's pretty good, though. Yeah. Damn. Um yeah, the streets are the streets are definitely ready for that project, don't you uh, think? Yeah, I'm about to probably, you know, I'm about to drop more than before. You feel me? I'm gonna drop definitely a couple of singles. Did you videos. feel? Did you want to take the time off that you've taken from sort of being in the public eye just so you could work on your shit, or did that just sort of happen because you wanted it to just take like time? It wasn't like a thing I planned. I like it though. It's like it's good because I was able to just. I like the time. Yeah, like I now. I do, you feel me? Like, and like, like, like two months ago, I was like, yeah, I want it. But when it happened, when I got the time, you feel me? It was just, it just happened. I was just cooking, you feel me? Right. Like what you said, like in the middle of things, is really, really hard for you to tell, like where you're at. Yeah, and that's why it's like, you don't gotta focus on the journey or where you're headed. You just gotta enjoy it for real. You mm. feel me? Even if it is challenging or hard, you really just. Make it fun, you feel me? But do you feel like you've had a crazy amount of pressure put on you because all of a sudden you have these big record labels invested in your career early on and obviously they don't really care about much besides you being productive? I feel like, not pressure, because I don't really care, but at the end of the day, it's like, it don't, that doesn't, that shouldn't matter to me, you feel me? The only thing that I should really be worried about is my craft hmm. and definitely getting better did next whatever you feel me i need to keep stable and sh all that you feel me but i don't really care much about what the labels hmm. see word what, what, do you have a girlfriend no you're not interested or i'm just i can't have another girl like an another like woman except for my mom because mm. it's like i don't need it you feel me like i already got my mom so she just like there for me you feel me mm. i don't need another random you feel me that's how i see it yeah definitely your mom would have to approve do you can you just walk around philly like on some regular shit yeah yeah all the time you don't worry about it at all ever if i worried about it it's like What's the point? You feel me? Worrying doesn't get you nowhere. That's, right. It's like a you killing yourself by worrying. But you know, being famous in a, a city like Philly as opposed to LA Definitely, or New but York, it's like all right, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna worry while I'm outside. You feel me walking? Mm. If I'm outside, it's like all right, I'm here. But I don't go drawing place. I mean, if it's if it's because I don't be around in whips and stuff, I be Ubering places. So it's like if I have to, I have to. You feel me? I walk to the store, whatever. You feel me? Hmm. But when I don't need to, I try to stay out the way. I feel like you can walk to the store. You just probably shouldn't post up outside the store for an hour and a half. Well, I don't know. <laughs> That's why my problem. I don't do that. I'll stand there and just be like, "Yo, anybody got any Pokemon cards? I'm just <laughs> I'm out here." Yeah, I see you still rolling around with Hesh and Bluetooth. It's the brothers. Those are still family. your homies. Yeah, yeah, we never switch, you know? No? Never. They smoke a lot of weed. That's what they're doing right now. You ever get into that? No. No? Mm-mm. Why not? Because it's dirty. Gross. It is. It'll ruin your brain, especially at a young age like yours. My age, definitely. 
got to stay away from that. Mm -hmm. That's good news. You're not drinking or anything like that? Nah. Okay. That's good. I'm high on life. Mm. Hell yeah. Life is good. Do you feel like you are happy with the amount that you've actually been able to travel and see the world through all this? Or do you feel like you didn't really get to I mean, do all that? I feel like, bro, I travel more without even moving. Just like, just right now I'm traveling. You feel me? In your mind? Not in my mind. I guess you could call it my mind. But just the, the, the senses, you feel me? Just what you feel, you feel me? What you're seeing, you feel me? Being fully present with that. Hmm. That's real. How do you feel like you've seen rap change since you got in the game? I don't really worry. I don't look at that. I mean, I feel like since I got in the game, who was popping when I got in the game? I don't know. What year did we first do that interview? 2017? 2016? Something like that, yeah. 2016. It was like very early SoundCloud. Like, I was actually wondering. I'm like, I wonder if X and Pump were huge yet when we did that interview or if that was yeah, almost kind of... Yeah, no, they, they was They just up. started popping, mm -hmm. right? So, I guess... Because it was at the new store. So, it's like after the X interview, X had just kind of got popping. Okay. Yeah. Young Thug blew up, bro. He been snapping. Young Thug? Well, not just Young Thug, but like all the slime. Mm. That's what's been going, Kurt. That's what I see a lot, right. at least. All of the me. young thugs sort of, I don't want to say clone, because clone sounds disrespectful, but, you know, a lot of people who sort of, because, you know, okay, that's the weird thing about young thug is his flow, the definitive thing about his flow used to be that he was just, uh -huh. blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. it was just the weirdest <laughs> yeah. shit you ever heard. Now thug kind of raps more like a regular rapper. Yeah. Definitely. But he still has a lot of the things that make him great, but he had to really kind of tone it down and simplify his flow in a the lot of effects. ways. That's definitely true. But then you just have so many dudes who are like, na 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 <laughs> they, they find this one little thing. It's like thug influence, but then they just repeat mm -hmm. that cadence on every fucking song. And I don't understand. I listen to the albums and I'm like, bro, this shit is boring. Yeah, oh God. That's mm. facts. You had like Chief Keef and Key and shit on that last project you put out are you thinking about features on the next thing you're gonna put out yeah i might uh I can't say you can't say about. the names I can't say nothing about it. it's too exclusive it's too exclusive it's too exclusive no you never know it might not happen right all the the, the, the management are like yes they don't say it <laughs> do not say it matthew thank you um so I heard that like a bunch of your songs, or at least one of your songs, is like blowing up on TikTok. Oh yeah, pull up. How's that going? That's the drum with Key. Right. Okay. Yeah, we about to show the video. That just happened organically. Yeah, I ain't even try to do nothing. I just, my, I was just like just chilling one day, and my management company was like, "Yo, bugging me, you feel me? Like, you gotta make a TikTok." Hey, young guy. <laughs> And I just saw all that. I'm like, oh, man. All right, we're going viral. So you started it? I didn't start it. Oh, you didn't do the first one. They told you they, about the fact Bron, that other people LeBron's were son. Bronny, whatever. LeBron's kid right. did the first one. And then after that, a bunch of drums got like billions of streams on that drum, bro. And I was just like, damn. All right, I got to post these now, I guess. Right. And then I made my own. You made a TikTok? Yeah. How many followers you got? Like thousand. You didn't go that crazy yet. I don't go crazy. No, I feel like if you if you made the vibe, right video, you would explode on TikTok. Yeah, definitely. That's why I always hear is if you have a recognizable face and you make a TikTok, then they'll blow you up. Yeah, facts. The thing is, I'm 36, hey, so I'm not making a TikTok. That. Finish this shot. Oh God. Yeah. I'll do it for the podcast, man. This shit is. F why are you? You're all into this? No joke, Ginger. I'm not into it. The bro got it, but I be I be taking probiotic shots. Certain things like that, you feel me? It's a blessing, you feel me? Like That's interesting. Yeah. The probiotics. I've been talking to my girl about that a lot. She's She thinks that my stomach's all fucked up. I need my to take more shit for it. Too, bro. My stomach hurts. My stomach does? Oh, God. Really? My stomach hurts. No, you got can't. diarrhea right now? No. No. It's okay. more like my immune system. I had like... diarrhea this morning. It was rough. I'm not going to lie. Maybe this will help. All right, you ready? Hopefully. The, like the face that I'm going to make after I swallow mm -hmm. this is everything. Thanks. Oh God. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. Ugh. Health as well. I guess, man. Um, 
<laughs> okay, so you are on TikTok, but you haven't fully committed to it yet. No, I only made one TikTok, but I've just been posting other people's TikToks. Mm. Yeah. That's real. Um, in terms of just music that you've been listening to on a personal level, what you been what you been listening to? Lil Nas X. <laughs> Blade, Blade hard. Blade. Yeah, Blade's hard. DJ, DG Blade. Yeah. Um, so are you still team working on dying? Yeah, hey, yeah. Love working on dying. Okay. It's just we just like lose management and stuff. I had to switch up. Switch up. So you're not really doing music with them anymore. No, I'm doing music with them. It's managed. Like, we they, had the same manager. Was Filthy technically managing you at first, or no? Well, that was like, yeah, he was one of my managers. Really? Yeah. And that didn't all work out? Yeah, it just got crazy. I mean, they kind of blew up. That's still the brothers, though. Working yeah. on Dying. That's been crazy. You listen yeah. to Drake songs, and they got Working yeah. on Dying tags. Does yes. that fucking weird you out at this point? Like, how the fuck did that happen? Oh, God. When, when Drake tried to buy my song first. Which one? Messages. Really? Yeah, he was like... Well, it was the beat. The beat. Oogie ain't make that beat, actually. But we was just like, Oogie made the beat. So they could be, you feel me? So he could get a drum. So that drum went crazy. Wow. Yeah. But he was trying to pay it for like 150000 bro. He was going to give you 150000 so that you could just not put the song out. That's what they said. That's what they said. It uh, might have been a scammer. It might have been. been. <laughs> they might have been capping to me. But... How'd that 150 grand look at that time, though? You're like, man, fuck this song. I said no. Any song I could have ever written. I said I'll no. I'll take the 150 grand. I said no. I was like, no. I felt like it was fake. It was fake? How were you communicating? Was it Drake's Instagram or something? No. He hit up OB Bryant, whatever, OVO Bryant. Okay. Yeah, he hit me up. And then he was like, yo, Drake turned it. And you were like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> well, that's good. You think Drake and you won't ever make a song together? I mean, I'm down. Okay. I'm down to make a song with anybody. You feel me? I don't, I don't got no picks, you feel me? You don't got no preferences? Nobody that you're excited to work with? We're going to make the stallion. You uh, <laughs> <laughs> saw a Bluetooth tweet? No, what he said? He said Megan should have just hooked up with Matt or something like that. We said, well, that would be, she'd be breaking all kinds of laws right there. Oh, God. <laughs> Jeezy. You a Jeezy fan? I met him before. How was that? Cool. It was at the Paris drum. Mm. The walkthrough with the, with the modeling. The whole time I saw that clip of him kissing on Meg, I thought he was filming it. <laughs> and I thought that was weird as fuck. And then I realized she was filming it. And right. then all of a sudden I'm like, okay, she's weird. Right. But not that weird. Just kind of funny. When I, I thought mean, it was him, bro. I was like, bro, that is weird. It's funny, bro. Like So good. <laughs> I mean, I don't know to what extent g Easy really like identifies as a white person, but he probably in his head was thinking like, I'm doing this for all white people. Like, this is some fly shit. I need the world to know that I'm nibbling on Meg's, Meg's cheek or ear or whatever. I'm sort right. of slurping up the Fenty. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know. He said slurping up the Fenty. That's though. what she said, didn't she? Say he, liked, he liked the Fenty. Isn't that what she said? <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Oh God. You a Billie Eilish fan? Yeah, shout out Billie Eilish. She you, hard. You got work? You got music coming with her? Um, I never... Matter nothing. How you feel about her saying that all rappers are liars? <laughs> Not all rappers, some rappers. I don't know. Not this one. I don't care about. Bro, it's just like that really amuses me. Mm. It's like y'all just speaking words. You know what I mean? Like words don't mean nothing. You need a word to describe a word. How does that make sense? The dictionary? Yeah. The dictionary will explain what all the words mean. Or even Wikipedia. But with words. With other words. Yeah. I mean, that's really all we have. And images. Like a painting. Like, you could, like, if you didn't know what a word meant, technically, I could paint you a painting that would explain what the word meant. But realistically, right. it's like, a lot of things are going to be pretty hard. Like, if it was school yeah, bus, I could draw you a school bus. Uh -huh. If it's like... Fun. 
<laughs> right. Yeah, that's what I was it. Yeah. All I could do is draw confetti and fucking emojis oh, and shit, you know? Yeah. Well, but like, I guess that's why people play Pictionary. It's just like words aren't a good way of communicate. Like it's not, it's, it's kind of like you can't get to the point of what you be trying like even now you feel me like it's mm. not as good that's like, why g Easy was all nibbling on meg's cheek because he had run out of words to express how into probably, where he was you know probably. he had probably already like laid all kinds of uh -huh. game on her <laughs> <laughs> fuck um okay so when are we looking at for your next release you got videos on the way projects yeah i'm gonna drop i got videos pro projects everything yeah exactly you just said it yeah. But we gotta drop. So I can't say when, but I got you. And I'm dropping stuff with Nikel. What? Yeah, we got some heat. We got a little bit video and we got singles. How'd you meet him? Trophy. Skate park? Joe Crib. Oh, Trophy's yeah. Crib. Yeah, and then. You be hanging out there a lot? Yeah, that's the bro. Oh, boy. And you gonna then, be a narco any day now? <laughs> you already know. No, he keeps you away from that Thanks. shit. Uh, if he ever asks you to go to like Ecuador oh, for him, real? don't no, don't do bro. it. <laughs> if he's ever like, hey, t t catch this flight to Colombia, <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> nah, he ain't gonna do me like that. No, no, no. But yeah, shout out narco. Shout out all the narcos. All right. Well, I mean, I'm excited to hear the the new content, man. I swear you already know. Let's get it. What you been on? I need a Matt, Matt Ox t-shirt. All right. That's how I'm feeling. I got a Smoke Dizzy t-shirt. It's not appropriate for this occasion. Yeah, mail's fine. It's a great way I to give me something. I need use some Puma, too. Or I'm, you want some Puma? What, you team Puma now? Yeah. I fuck with Puma. Shout out Puma. I got, we got a little little something going on with Puma soon, I think. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, we going crazy. If I could get that jacket, then I'd be even a bigger Puma supporter. You want it? I don't think it'll fit you, bro. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. It might, though. I lost some weight. <laughs> I might be able to share clothes with Matt Ox. Was that like a your hot whistle? No, it's like, oh. I don't know <laughs> it's about like that. interview's over. <laughs> <laughs> I can't whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Ox, no jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. Doesn't exist. No? Your podcast doesn't exist. It does. It's, it's not a YouTube real. channel. But you're right that if there's like a nuclear apocalypse, then there will be like no indication that my podcast ever existed. If the internet turned off, it would be no, well, maybe not because people just come here. Yeah. So really like screen record my podcast and then export them to VHS tapes so that if the internet goes away, we'll have a nice backup. You should do that. That is smart, honestly. Although you why would the also, why would the why would the internet bro, not survive? Bro, I want survive, you to go but, homeless for a week too, just in case you go broke. No, I was already very poor for a significant part of my life. I don't really. I feel you. You know, yeah. I got a house now. We have a pool. Well, I got. I've never that. been in it. I gotta come. I gotta go pull up. You can. And we're gonna have a party there, and we're gonna do too much that you don't want us to do there. Who? Yeah. Who? Like I could imagine who, you doing who, a lot of stuff. I probably who, wouldn't want you to do who. at my house. <laughs> That's yeah. too bad. I don't want you having a party at my house. Because you're going to bring girls your age over the house, and that's going to be real weird. No, I'm going to bring girls your age over the house. <laughs> you know 36-year-olds? <laughs> 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 I don't know. 26-year-olds. 26. <laughs> Meet in the middle. <laughs> 26 totally fine. Yeah. No, that's great. Yeah. Matt Ox, I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you, bro. And I missed you, bro. I missed you, too. Right. It's been a while. Now that you're back right. on the scene, now that you're out here on Melrose. Yeah, I'm out here all month, so you better be linking me, fool. Let's do it. On God. Let's get in the stew. On God. I we got out. a verse for you. All right, I need to hear that. I do. I'm going I'm to let you know if I approve, but that joint probably going to be wet. No, it's going to be fire. I'm going to run J-Station from a PlayStation. Hopefully. Hesh fucked up in the crib watching J-Station. Come here. J-Station. He broke. He can't even afford a PlayStation. Damn. I'm a TJX6 style rapper, just so you know. That's the only way to describe it. So we still guys. with the game. Yeah, what's up? Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. No Who made that there. shirt? I'm just real curious. Oh, six F. Shouts out to six F. Support black business for the white man who made the Rolex. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> we out of here. Come on. Mm. White go. man made the Rolex. No jumper, Maddox. 
coolest podcast in the world. Shout out to Hesh. Yeah. Bye, guys. Love ya. We fucked up in the crib eating Hydrox. In the crib eating. Peace. Go subscribe, like, and comment. You feel me? Go follow me and no jump on Instagram, SoundCloud, Twitter, all that. You feel me? And go check out the new website. You feel me? No jumper.com.